Okay, hi everybody, Casey Zander here. Um, me and my brother are going to reignite this channel because I think it's helped a lot of people and because we've done millions of dollars per year in business consecutively over and over now for quite a few years. I'm no Jeff Bezos, okay, I'm no Warren Buffett. I have bigger delts than both of them. <laughs> but what I can do is I can help you along the way so that way you can make a lot of money and have a really good life and a really good profitable business too. Okay, so these are the five reasons why most business owners stay poor, why their businesses are not profitable, and ultimately why they can never get ahead. Okay, so the very first reason is because they are completely lifestyle locked. So what that means is their business is not looked at as an engine, okay, to grow what it is that they're doing. Their business is literally looked at as a way to fuel their lifestyle. Okay, so what that means is they're in houses they shouldn't be in, they're driving cars they shouldn't have, okay, they're buying toys and expensive things, they're flying on these vacations, they're doing all of these things to live in the moment when really you have to live above the moment. Okay, there needs to be a layer of delayed gratification. So what I can tell you is this, despite my income every single year going up, multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit since I was 20 until now going on 27, every single year my, I, there's more money on my tax return by a good multiplier than there was the year before. Okay, despite that, my lifestyle has always remained the same. I can seriously live off of anywhere from probably five to $7,000 per month and I don't go above that because I like where I live, I like the lifestyle setup that I have and my base needs are covered. Okay, that allows me to make strength-focused long-term decisions in business. I am doing things that will actually yield the growth of my business, not yield the growth of my pleasure for that month because I went to Vegas and I bought some big hotel or hotel room. You get what I'm trying to tell you? Their lifestyle locked. That's the very first reason. Simplify your life. Get rid of stuff you don't need. Get rid of possessions you don't use. Strip down to the bare minimum. That is how you start to actually make it. Okay, that's number one. Number two, the second reason why most entrepreneurs fail and are not profitable is because their business doesn't have an actual mission, okay? I'm gonna say that again, their business doesn't have a mission. If you listen to Jeff Bezos, early years of building Amazon, he had one specific mission with Amazon. It was to be the most customer-centric focused business on the planet. Meaning customer-centric as they were first, their products and their, the speed of delivery was always on point. Okay, that was what he was trying to do and what he was trying to build. If your business doesn't have a mission, it's going to be very hard to prioritize your tasks list day to day because you're not constantly looking at how can you serve the customer and bring real world value. Okay, I have had a mission in my business for a very long time, right? And that was to fix men's dating lives and actually help them succeed in the modern dating game. Okay, I, did, I wanted to help men attract and keep the women that they always wanted and to have the wonderful love life and dating life, okay? That's a mission. That got me out of bed every morning. It still does to this day. It was something that I overcame and it's something that I know I can help people do. Therefore, I put my utmost into it. So when you get really square on your business mission, you're gonna be able to get ahead because now the decisions you make, prioritizing day to day, there's a lot of entrepreneurs that wake up, they don't know what to work on. Uh, should I try to sell more? Should I try to improve my product? Should I do this? Should I do manual outreach? You will always pick the best decision for you and for your business when you say, what does the customer need to be fulfilled at this point? If you can bring that value to the table, you will constantly make the right decision. But in order to do that, in order to capitalize on point number two, you're going to have to capitalize on these other points that I have down below for you. Which brings me to point number three, okay? The biggest issue entrepreneurs have that I had for a long time is I sell, or I was selling, I sold what I wanted to sell the customer. I did not sell what the customer wanted to buy. Let that sink in. How many of you right now have projects, right? Passion products, woo woo BS. How many of you have products like that right now that you're pushing and peddling to the marketplace because you want to sell it? Not once have you done any customer research, not once have you surveyed your past customers, not once have you sent an email to your opt-ins list that says, hey, what do you guys want and what are you guys struggling with? You've asked for no market feedback, therefore you have no idea what they want to buy, therefore you're making random crap pushing it down their throat and hoping they buy it. That is not how you build a business. You have to sell what they want to buy. If I want to sell hot dogs and everybody after the football game wants to buy 
uh, Jack and Cokes. I might as well get my liquor license and sell Jack and Cokes. Okay, sell what they want to buy. Do not sell them what you want to sell them. That's number three. Okay, number four. Your business doesn't fix or solve a real world problem that people are struggling with. Okay, here's how I know if a business is probably profitable and succeeding or failing. Their testimonials list, oftentimes with info products, has a bunch of crap, meaning a bunch of random testimonials, meaning, oh, this helped me, this helped my focus, this helped my discipline, this gave me more energy, uh, this totally 10x'd my love life, I lost 40 pounds with this. Right, they're sporadic and they're all over the place. And this is what happens when gurus try to sell concepts that don't actually fix and solve a real world problem. Okay, real world problems that people have with an exact solution. Okay, let me give you some examples of an exact solution. If a husband and wife were going through a divorce, okay, and let's say the man initiated the divorce, okay, the husband initiated the divorce. If you had a specific product for women, for wives specifically, who let's say were married for between 10 to 20 years where you served a specific client avatar and that was the divorcee or the divorce avatar that you were working with and you had a specific product to help women in that category save their marriage and fix things, that would be a specific product for a specific person for a specific reason that serves real world market value. All the stuff that gurus push with these concepts don't usually pan out because it's hard for the consumer to comprehend what your big idea is that you want them to buy into. You're going to see a lot of this stuff, a lot of these made up concepts. You want to never fall into that category. You want to fix a real world problem, a real world solution. Okay. When I had my flagship dating product, the masculinity blueprint accelerator, I helped men who were struggling with dating, attract and keep the women that they wanted. That's it. If you look at any big major brand out there, look at Kino body, for example. Okay. He helps people lose weight and get into great shape through intermittent fasting. That's it. That's what he does. Look at the people who have done something. They had a specific problem they were solving in the marketplace. If you don't have a specific thing that you can crystallize with just one single sentence, it's not going to work. Let that sink in. Okay. Number five, you're in business for the wrong reasons. You're either in business to solve a problem with your own ego and insecurity. You think you need to be rich to prove it to people, right? You think you need to make more money because you're, you need to attract a certain companion. You need to attract somebody you think you think you're not good enough. You deal with this crippling insecurity. And because of that, that's what makes you go into business instead of serving your mission and having it be your passion and your purpose all tied into one that solves a real world need. I want to tell you this right now, what I do for a living day to day completely motivates me and completely fires me up. I'm not in business to buy a Lamborghini. I'm not in business to buy a private jet, I'm not in business for any of that crap. I've lived off a 10th of my income my whole life every year, 10th of my income. I, I mean that too. So, when I live my life this way, it's helped me succeed in business. And the reason why I'm giving you these tips is because I know if you copy paste these five things into your business like that, here's what's going to happen. 65 or 70% of you right now who probably have offers out on the marketplace, you're going to want to put a big X through them or revamp them completely to make it solve a specific problem for a specific person. Okay, if you have somebody struggling with an eating disorder, you have a specific product for that eating disorder. If you have somebody struggling with, um, let's say they are struggle with uh, public speaking, you have a specific product for public speaking. If they struggle with weight loss, you have a specific way to help them lose weight. One specific problem. Have your product solve one specific thing. A lot of you guys' products don't do that, and your offers don't align with that either. So those are my five tips. Live that way. Okay, you can follow my big channel, which is just Casey Zander. Okay, which is where I give a lot of you know different tips on different ways that I've improved over the years and certain attraction principles that I use or you know follow this channel too for all of the insight as to how I built that business and what I'm doing on a day to day basis. Okay, hit the like button if you want to see exactly how I would start from the ground up in building a business. My brother and I created something down below for you. It's called the Freedom Academy. We show you how to acquire your first 10 customers, build your very first business, sell an offer and get money into your pocket. So that way one day you can quit your nine to five and you can potentially be financially free for life. That is our mission with this channel is to help you live the life that we were actually able to create for ourselves. Hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.